Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Minecrafting Things. And more specifically, welcome back to the episode of Feed the Beast on the Hashcraft server. Uh, you guys seem to have been loving this episode, and can I just quickly just, just say before this episode gets started, uh, my last video got the most likes to view ratio ever. For whatever reason, my last video didn't get as many views as my videos usually do, but my god, you guys liked the crap out of that video, so, uh, you know, it, it really was my, my best like to view ratio I've ever had, so th thank you guys so much for you know, supporting me and with all the likes and favorites you guys give me and it's, it's just incredible. But anyway, uh, I want to show you guys the inside of these towers because this is what we ended the last episode on. Uh, you know, what, what should I add in these towers? And so many of you guys suggested that I make these into mob farms and I think that's what I'm going to go with. Um, some people suggested I should, you know, dedicate them to uh, like each type of mod, so maybe like a Thormcraft tower. But that's why I'm showing you guys the inside now. The, these rooms aren't very big inside these towers. Uh, they're all identical, but uh, yeah, th they're not that big, so... Yeah, I think I'm just going to place like a, a, a spawner up there and then just collect the items down the bottom there. And I think that's what we're going to go with. Uh, but anyway, some uh, little bit of improvements that I've been making to my house. Uh, as you can see, I've added uh, a final layer. This is going to be the last layer I add. And I'm going to make it a circle as well with the sandstone so it sort of mirrors what I've got going down the bottom here. See, I've got the sandstone circle. And uh, something else I've done, just a little small touch, was uh, add this. Um, it sort of matches the rest of the base, but it's actually... Um, it's like this, yeah, see over here I haven't done it yet. I'm gonna, it's just going to be ho hollow so that I can run uh, cable through it. So uh, at any point I can, uh, you know, if I say I want machines, so I've got machines over here. At any point I can just pow grab power out of the wall into these uh, transformers. And then I can just run it into my machines. So anyway, um, I want to ask you guys a quick question and then I'm going to get into some fun stuff actually. And that is... With these uh, iridium ores, I just got them doing some uh, doing some quarrying. Um, I've also got six shiny ingots. Is there any way I can spend these iridium ores in such a way that uh, I can get more iridium? You know what I mean? Because I know there's a lot of machines that take iridium to make iridium. So is is matter fabricator the way I want to go? I know if there's any feed the beast experts out there. Let me know. Um, and actually, I want to grab one of these diamond shards because uh, I really want to try something out that I've been waiting to do for a long time. And that's uh, that's to make one of these... Uh, I think this is what it takes. It's just this and a nether brick. Oh yeah, I've actually been searching for it. Yeah, that's all you need. A wraith igniter. Um, yeah, I've wanted to have a have a bit of a bit of a play around with one of these for a while now. And hopefully it's uh, hopefully it's as good as I think it is. So I'm going to need a little bit of iron too because I actually want to make some dark iron. So let's get one more. Sweet. Okay. You guys need to see how fast this compressor goes when you've got uh, this many um, overclockers on it. It goes super fast. All right. So two blocks of iron. That's all we need. And if I can make this... Sweet, a Wraith Igniter. Alright, so what a Wraith Igniter is, for those of you who aren't familiar with Feed the Beast, uh, I'd, I'd say it's pretty similar to a, uh, oh, I, I guess I guess Flint and Steel from Vanilla Minecraft. Because what, what it does is uh, it spreads it spreads crazy quick and uh, for very, I don't, I don't know how far, I guess I'm just sort of experimenting. I don't want to do it on anywhere near my base in case it just, you know, infinitely spreads. Actually, actually we've got an island out here. I'll just, I'll just quickly fast forward to this island. Okay, now we're on this island, and I don't know if it's going to hurt me or not. Let's actually just let's stand a few blocks away. And what I want to do is, uh, I guess I, I want to light this on fire. Oh, I have no idea what I'm doing, but uh, let's just place. Uh, I don't know. Let's just place it down and then light light it up. Whoop whoop! Wait wait. Wow, I have no idea what's happening. Uh, if you do this on land, uh, it'll actually spread, I think, for a very, very long distance, and I really don't want that to happen. Is that iron catching on fire? I don't even know. It's turning the sand into glass. I'm just going to click on... All right, I really don't want this to spread and hit me. You know what would be really cool? If you light a desert on fire, could you turn an entire desert into glass? I would love to see a glass desert. That'd be crazy. Even if it only does the top. Oh, it did it. It worked. All right, sweet. Uh, so now I've got dark iron. Now how do I put... Can I just... Can I just... I don't know. Does this put it out? That seemed to work. And hopefully I can stand here without getting destroyed. So I can just pick this up now, right? Sweet. All right. So I've lit this on fire. Now I have something called dark iron. And um, that's all it gets. All right, and then I can make these dark iron ingots, and I can create some pretty cool stuff with this dark iron. 
But uh, we, might, we might touch a little bit more on that next episode. But for now, what I want to do is uh, go do something else. So I'll be right back. Okay, so before we go do that, I actually want to try that theory out. I want to see what happens if we do light a, a desert on fire. And I actually want to see if we can get to, if we can get this to all turn to glass. And hopefully it'll look even cooler at night time here. Oop, and that's the end of it. Oop, okay, I don't want to die. Um, I don't know why I'm going to use wood to try and protect myself from fire. But, uh... Oh, shit. Oop, it's causing all these block updates. Oh, wow. Holy shit. I hope this stops. Or I'm going to ruin a lot of the... A lot of the... Oh, can I stand here? Wow. Oh, shit, this just keeps going. I might have just ruined this desert. I tried to pick a desert that was pretty far away from, I don't know, anyone's house or anything, but... Yeah, I might have just... Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, wow. This is actually really cool. I really like this. I mean, I've ruined a desert. <laughs> and I'm sorry to anyone who wanted this desert, but... uh Oh, I hope it doesn't go to that forest. No, I think the river separating the... It can't go across water. That's something I know it can't do. It can't go across water. So I think that forest is safe. Because it will destroy forests. I've already tried that. I know it will destroy forests. I've done that in creative mode. Oh, wow. I think it's stopping. Did it stop? Yeah, it looks like it has a certain a certain range to it. Wow. Okay, I think if I didn't uh, use all three in just that one little area, it would have done a lot more damage if I'd spread them out. Wow, that's really cool. Okay, anyway, I've got my I've got my portal gun, and uh, I want to go do what I said we were going to go do. So let's go do that real quick. So here we are at a village, and what is that? That looks cool as. <laughs> all right. So anyway, uh, by the looks of things, I'm not 100 percent sure. But yeah, by the looks of things, this is a, uh, yep, yeah, this has already been raided. So, uh, I can't really take anything from here except the one thing that hasn't been raided, which is, uh, villagers. <laughs> no one's raided the villagers yet. So I'm going to take all these guys, and I'm going to send them through my portal to, uh, my friend's house. Actually, I better not take them all. I'll take one more. Um, let's take this guy. Okay, yeah, see, uh, <laughs> uh let's go through it now, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Ah, uh, here we are. Oh, and they've already walked outside. Um, hey guys. <laughs> right, so this is a uh, this is a little custom village that's been going on uh, over at my friend Josh's house. Uh, if you look in the description of this video, um, you'll be sure to find uh, you'll be sure to find the link to Josh's channel if you want to check out what's going on around his house and see his videos from the Hashcraft server. But yeah, this is uh, this is where we're going to send the. Uh, send the villagers. I, I was talking to him earlier, or maybe it was yesterday actually, and I, I said, hey, I've got a portal gun if you uh, if you don't want to walk these villagers or, you know, get them there by train tracks or something. Minecart tracks. But yeah, anyway, uh, I think that one over there is maybe too far. I don't know if they'll spread to there unless he makes more houses in between. But for the most part, this should be good. So let's uh, let's just recall my portals and I'll fix up his house. We just won't tell him that I've I've broken his fucking houses that he's been spending all his time on. What kind of wood? Fir wood. Oh yeah. I didn't know that fir wood made this puke green color of wood come out of it. Um, so I'll just fix it up. That's that tree there. That's the fir tree. Um, and I guess for whatever reason it makes the, the green colored wood. Um, so this is Josh's house. Looks like he's got some windmills up there. Um, and I guess we can go have a quick look inside because <laughs> I haven't really... Uh, I haven't really looked at anyone's houses just yet. Okay, so let's come up here and check out what he's got going on. Yeah, I really like the look of this place. I love the glass and that uh, that chiseled basalt. It looks really good. Yeah, I really like the look of this place. Have we got anything? Ooh, free stuff. Haste 2. What does this do? Maybe it makes you sprint super fast. No, I'm running at the same speed. That's kind of worthless. Oh, no. But you definitely walk faster. This is just me regular walking. Yeah, you definitely move faster. Just oh well. Well, that's pretty cool. Had no idea that haste was even an enchantment. Uh, yeah. Anyway, guys. Um, 
I guess that's uh, that's all we're going to look at today. I guess I'll just see you guys in the next episode, um, if I can even get out of these doors. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Um, I've got some really cool stuff planned for the next episode as well, so make sure you subscribe and uh, to check out that and all my other future videos. Uh, I'm also going to have some zombie stuff coming your way pretty soon for all you guys who are also sub for that. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Catch you, cunts. <laughs>